are you doing? I'm so happy you tuned into my channel and I hope you're all doing really, really well. And of course, um, that the Scorpio full moon um, has really brought out good stuff, like releasing old, old stuff and then allowing for the new one, new stuff to come in. Um, today, as you can see, this is not my usual um, background. I'm in Andalusia and uh, Granada and it's so gorgeous here and I really wanted to shoot a video and I think this is going to be one of the most important ones yet because it's about love. It's about conditional love and um, unconditional love and there's such a huge difference and um, I had beautiful encounters um, one in particular that really made me aware of it, that really brought out the um, the understanding, the feeling of the whole thing for me. So um, I'm really going to try to break this down because it's not um, it's 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 not that easy to understand. So I'm really going to try my best. I already tried shooting one one a video about this but it didn't quite turn out the way I wanted it to because since it's such an important message I really wanted to come out right so um, the people we meet um, let's let's make that even more clear in relationships let's say you meet someone someone new comes into your life um, and you you fall for them let's say that you fall in love with them um, what you're getting is some sort of a mirror so um, whatever you're lacking in this department the other person will have in their department so this is what you're most likely going to be attracted to as well as the other person because you in turn have parts within you that the other person is attracted to <clears throat> and this mostly happens um, unconsciously all right sometimes it's very conscious because when you're already aware of the stuff that's happening you can totally see and identify what that is but um Let's say you have this part that you haven't uncovered yet in yourself because it's not um, I usually describe this as a hole as a bottomless pit that sucks in whatever it needs um, But in this case you already you already have it like um, You're just not aware of it Everything is already within you But if you haven't figured out how to see it yet and how to love it yet It's not going to be apparent to you and I really hope I'm making sense here um I really hope I'm making sense because this is very important to understand. So um, you two, you two agreed to come together to solve your karma. Karma being you're born with um, with uh, something um, that you need to resolve in this lifetime or maybe the next lifetime. So um, in my case, just to give you an example, it's definitely the lack of self-love, the lack of um, <clears throat> being okay the way I am and um, so I was presented with partners all the time that made me aware of my lack in that area um, and also they could never my partners could never really fulfill this need of mine and I always sort of made them responsible for um, for my own lack until a certain point when I realized what was going on, that this was a mirror and these two try to take each other's parts. But of course that does not work. So what you're in turn supposed to do is um, fix that within you because it's all about you. It's all about you and in turn it's all about everybody else because we're all interconnected. But firstly, it's, it's about you and you figuring out how beautiful you are and how much love you deserve because of the person that you are it's not and here this is where conditional love and unconditional love very much comes in so this is first and foremost about yourself like how much do you love yourself um, without the conditions do I have to work really hard in order to love myself or can I just be unconditional about it and say no matter if I'm resting or if I'm working really hard, I'm going to love myself regardless. No matter if, um, let's say, make it this very easy, no matter if I put on a little weight, um, am I going to love my body regardless of that? And just as much as I would love it with, um, let's say, 
um, a couple kilos or a couple pounds less, uh, which is ridiculous in itself. But um, <laughs> from the other perspective, <coughs> I totally get it. Like from 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 a certain standpoint, but from the other standpoint, I totally do not get it anymore because. Um, yeah, because of the conditions, I'm letting go so much of these conditions. And the more you let go of those conditions um, within yourself, the more you'll be able to love and appreciate and um, accept that in other people and love them regardless. And this is where the beauty comes in. And um, an encounter I had very recently very much made that clear to me how much... I was able already to love unconditionally. So without the conditions, I'm going to love you regardless of um, of what's going on, you know. I'm going to love you um, as the person that you are. And regardless of decisions made and, and, and that sort of thing. Uh, this is so interesting. It, it hit me so much. And um, being able to really be open and really be vulnerable or in a vulnerable position I didn't really feel vulnerable because I felt so protected and really good about myself and this is where um, where uh, it really came in for me I was like man I'm so strong I'm standing in my power so much and representing my point of view but um, in a very gentle way in a very in a very loving way because this is the way I feel about myself now I feel very loving towards myself and I feel I'm only in the beginning stages of that <clears throat> and there's so much more to come again because this whole thing is so expansive so once you start on it I think it'll just keep expanding and growing and be like wow <laughs> it's this awesome thing and this awesome love because this doesn't have limitations or boundaries it doesn't it just doesn't and when you let go of these conditions like I've been trying to really make it clear um, it's it's just so wonderful guys it's so wonderful and again start with yourself start to be very clear on what you want what it is that you love I think this is a very very good indicator in the right direction um, to start doing the things you love because this brings you closer to yourself let's say what you love to do is to dance flamenco and you just don't dare to do it for some reason uh, just go for it because this is where it's at like this is exactly where it's at and then you put your focus on that and it'll take you from there because these things really um, tend to gain momentum much in the same way that negative things will gain momentum for example you're in the spiral of thought it'll just spiral 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 and really go fast 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 and um, to get out of it you just do small things that you um, that you really love and it's it's much like that because it will gain momentum too and be like brrr, and it'll go really fast um, at some point and uh, it's it's the same system you just have to decide where where it is that you want to go like you have to it's it's an active decision to say stop no more of this I want that and I think this is key to to finding yourself to loving yourself appreciating um, yourself for the person you truly are no matter what other people think of it uh, think of you that does not matter you know not that this isn't uh, a topic or issue that many people including myself have but it truly does not matter because imagine how long you're here on earth I mean come on it's very very short very limited amount of time and um, so you really want to make sure that you're doing whatever whatever it is that you feel like doing and there's going to be exactly those kind of people that match you and your vibration along the way. You'll see. Just start walking. I know you will not see the whole picture yet. That's just not possible. But um, just take the first step. Take the first step and you'll see it'll take you, it'll take you to places that are so beautiful that you could have not possibly imagined them before. Absolutely, yes. And I really wish you a wonderful, happy journey. Um, and much love from me, guys. Much, much love from me. And yeah, if you want to get in touch with me, 
the link to my website and my email address are down below. I think those people that have been following me know the drill already. Um, yeah, <clears throat> I do um, coachings and trainings, but I'm very, very intuitive with this. So, um, yeah, this is my gift and this is why it's um, a very unique, special thing. Um, again, if you want to get in touch, get in touch. All right, guys. Much love. Till next time. Bye.